Morning! This is Cold Aaron's Kitchen. I'm Wade. We're getting ready to prepare some dinner. This is a long process. Most of it waiting. But we're going to make tacos tonight, so I'm going to make monkey meat. If we look down here, we got about a pound and a half, two pounds of uh, chuck roast. It was on sale, so I got chuck roast. Throw some olive oil in the pan. What you're going to do is you're going to sear this chuck roast on all sides. Lovely sound stirring. While that's working, we're going to introduce you to the rest of the players in this program. We've got two jalapenos, uh, black heart, pepper, poblano pepper, celery, carrots, and bell pepper. We have an onion, a couple tomatoes, cilantro, garlic, and one chipotle pepper. Now, a lot of people say that the bell pepper is a bitter pepper, but it's not. The problem with bell pepper, and I'll show you right here, is the membrane. This white chunk in the middle of the bell pepper. If you remove that, that takes care of the bitterness. So we're going to prepare the rest of the items for this real quick. We've got some cilantro here. We're just going to do a quick chop through it. It's about, oh, three tablespoons. You can use dried. I prefer fresh. And we're going to sprinkle those over here on the black heart to get out of the way. My sizzling has gone down, so I uh, need to turn the meat. I want to get a good sear on this. Now this is a crock pot recipe which means you're going to leave it in the pan for about four hours as a crock pot. Okay, let's chop up these tomatoes here. Go ahead and take the heads off. A couple of plum tomatoes or Roma tomatoes, whatever you want to call them. Nice hearty tomato. And you just want to, again, just chop those. I took about ten minutes to cut the rest of this stuff up, so... Um, it's not, this is not a lengthy dish, really. No real skill or finesse involved. Garlic, well, we've seen me do this before. Just mash it. Put in a pile of tomatoes. Onion. Again, a coarse chop because it's going to spend about, again, four hours in a crock pot. So it's going to get nice and soft and small. Now, when you're dealing with peppers, such as these over here, people go, oh my god, that's a lot of hot peppers. The heat is not in the pepper, it's in the seeds. However many seeds you leave in depends how hot it's going to be. This chipotle is not one that's soaked in sauce. It's a fresh, or it's a real dried chipotle. I make them myself. Just give it a little bit of a chop there. I'll stand by or flip the meat again. Now you can see how this is starting to already juice up here. Yeah, it's seared enough. So let's take that out of there so we can put the veggies in. We want to give a quick sear on the veggies. Yeah, look at the beautiful chunks of meat there. I don't know why this is called monkey meat. It's a recipe I ran into a while back. I just discovered I liked it. <laughs> Set that right there. You guys wait. Okay, let's start putting in some celery. And you'll notice I'm using the coffee filters again. Saves on dishes. Carrots. Pick up the refugees that are trying to escape. Jalapeno. That's two jalapenos right there. Plobano pepper. That's two plobano peppers. Blackheart and cilantro. Two. And one large bell pepper. I know that looks like an awful lot. Trust me, 
It's going to cook down. We'll be back with you in a minute. Back to our monkey meat here. We've got our peppers. They've already started to cook down. They've displaced by half. We're going to add the rest of the uh, vegetable ingredients. We're going to put in our uh, tomatoes, garlic, onion, and chipotle. To that we're going to add two teaspoons of cumin, a pinch of salt, and the juice of one lime. Lime is so integral, especially if you're using cumin and cilantro. Now I mentioned this is a crock pot dish and you see me cooking on the stove in a pan. That's because I'm using kitchen craft cookware by West Bend. Good stuff. Now this part of the this part of the recipe is um, variable. Since I'm using the kitchen craft, which seals in juices, I'm only going to put a half a cup of beef broth in. Otherwise, you're going to use a full can of beef broth. Going to put our meat right back on top of that. They're all going to talk together for about the next four hours. And uh, there we go, get it all in there. And we're going to put the lid on. Make sure it's sealed. Turn the heat off. Pick it up. Put it over here on its hot plate. That's the West Bend crock pot. Now, people say, well, it's four hours. What are you going to do? Well, it's Saturday. I'm going fishing. See you in a little bit. Welcome back. It's been several hours now. The crock pot's been working overtime. We went fishing, and it's a good thing we put dinner on. Didn't catch anything. Well, one tiny trout, but since there's no friends with it, couldn't do anything. This stuff looks gorgeous. We're going to just pull the meat out, and we're going to shred this stuff put it back with it. Yeah. Shredding this stuff's real easy. Take a couple forks. And start pulling it apart. Just like this. When you get it all shredded up, you mix it back in with the pepper mixture and let it cook together for another 10-15 oh, minutes while you're preparing everything else for your tacos, like your guacamole and salsa, getting your cheese together. So, we'll be back in a few minutes. Welcome back. Well, we've got the meat shredded up and mixed in with the peppers. And if you want to look here in this pot here, you've got just all sorts of goodness. you got peppers, you got tomatoes, you got celery, you got carrots, you got meat. So now what do we do with it? Well, we're going to make dinner. We'll start out with a little bit of sour cream. Now, the um, monkey meat itself is virtually fat free. I mean, this might have two or three greens in it, but I'm going to destroy all that here in a few seconds. A little, a little bit of homemade guacamole, some uh, sour cream, a pinch of cheese on that, a little bit of shredded lettuce, got to have my salad. Salad's good for you. <coughs> We're going to take a pinch of this here monkey meat. Now let me get some of those carrots and vegetables there. And we're just going to flop this together like this. That is a taco. That's dinner. Mm. Mm. Thanks for watching.